Right, here again. With a, a bit of a PC engine mod update. It's on a Teneco or Tenoki 2 game save system. And a very kind YouTuber on here goes by the name of Kaylog Gamer. Go over and check out his channel. I shall put a link in the description. He's kind enough to mod this for me. So it's running an RGB SCART. Because I only had composite out before, so. Yeah, it's absolutely cracking pitch on this now. I've got my super graphs running at the moment. I can plug any PC engine console in now. And have it in RGB. Actually, chuffed a bit to this. Something I've wanted for a while. It's really good of him to do this. I think he used a, an amp inside this off Fagin RS500 page. I couldn't have done it myself, I ain't got a clue. But uh, there you go. Just uh, show you a couple more games. Been having a good blast on it. Just cheer me up a bit because I've had a bit of a shit week with one thing and another. I've had a dodgy PCB turn up. And then. <laughs> If fuck you're gonna believe this, I've had an Xbox go missing. Look at that, it's looking great. That is absolutely fantastic, man. I said beeps next my Xbox that I showed in my previous vids, and he, he put a bigger HD in it, or driving it for me and whatnot, coin ops five on it, and loads of emulators. Posted it back. Delivery guys left it in the cupboard by the front door and some fuckers had it when I've been at work. <laughs> Fucking unbelievable man. So, with me PCB shit and someone's had my Xbox away, I'm not having a good week at all. That looks superb man, absolutely fucking beautiful, look at that. And I'll just put in the Supergrass game. Well, I'm here. Don't make him your it. See the difference between the um, PC Engine games? It's like the artwork on the Super Graphs is the other way around. I don't know if you, you probably know this, but some of you might not know. See, it's the opposite way around. So if you put that in there now, it's upside down. And you put a Super Graphs game in. The artwork's the correct way up. There we go. Look at that man, look at the picture on that. Fucking beautiful. Really crisp and clean man, so much better. And I've also... Just a bit of comparison. I've had it running on the, uh, the Mega Drive. That's an RGB as well. Let's just stretch the screen out. There you go, RGB. So I've just been having a bit of a comparison. I don't know which is better to be honest, I think the same might be a bit better on the Mega Drive, but the graphics are better on the Super Graphs, I don't know. They're both pretty good. Love them both. But yeah, I'm going to leave it there. And I've also picked up a couple of really, really shit up Mega Drive games, Japanese Mega Drive games. I'll put a video for those the weekend. I've completely spent out this month now. I'm skinned. <laughs> completely skinned. I'll give you a quick glimpse. Whoa. You know what they are? <laughs> oh. To a Konami's finest. Oh. 
I'll put up a bit of that soon. Right, I'm going to leave it there. Be sure to check out the Light Gamers channel if you're into all your retro stuff. Especially your PC engine and Mega Drive and whatnot. Right, thanks for watching. Speak to you later.